What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and I was looking to make a video about birds of prey today and usually I completely ignore articles from the Mary Sue because they're all basically trash and this one really isn't any different. However, I, I couldn't not talk about it after some of the things I've seen online. So let's just get right into it. Misogynists already bashing birds of prey without seeing it. Where have I seen this before? Dot, 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 question mark. The movie isn't even out yet. And it is by Rachel Leishman. And uh, before we really get into it, I, I agree that uh, there's been some, some concern for Birds of Prey, myself included. Now, I don't know this misogynist already bashing Birds of Prey without seeing it. For the, you know, the 2% of the world that it are actually misogynists that are going out and bashing this online because they're misogynists and not just because they don't think like it looks like something that they're going to like or because the dialogue is cringe as hell in every trailer, or because the things that people have come out and said about this movie, for all the valid reasons that you have to say, this movie doesn't look like I want to see it. Um, yeah, sure, there could be 2% of the world that are misogynists that are actually out there bashing this. However, I think there's a lot of people like me, and I'm someone who really likes DC, who has seen the trailers, who has listened to some of the people talking about this movie, specifically you and McGregor, and we'll get into that, and say, wow, it doesn't seem like this movie's really made for me. And in fact, they're making it uh, specifically to give the middle finger to people like me. And that's not saying that everything has to be geared towards myself or geared specifically towards men and just men. But when you basically give the finger to, to your audience, I don't think that that's a good way to start out a movie. But let's get into it. Outrage has taken over the internet. Women taking over a genre typically dominated by men ruining the childhoods of those fans who love the male-dominated films? How dare we females take the throne for ourselves? Uh, the throne? You really think you're dominating the, the comic book industry? That's what I'll say. Uh, now, what year am I writing from? Is it from the 2016 Ghostbusters movie that was torn to shreds before it even came out? One of the reasons it had one of the worst, most unfunny trailers in the history of mankind and proceeded to be one of the worst, most unfunny movies in the history of time. That's probably that reason. Or am I talking about 2017's Wonder Woman? Uh, I don't know why you'd be talking about that because Wonder Woman was one of the most well-received movies um, that I've really ever seen. Uh, to the point where I think it got maybe overhyped by the public. Um, I do think it was a really good movie. I, I loved Wonder Woman. But the absolute sheer joy and love that was given to it from everybody in all corners was ridiculous. I don't remember too many people complaining about it at all. Maybe it's 2019's Captain Marvel. I don't think I even need to go into that. Why what Brie Larson's comments did to people. Uh, that was one of the most average movies I've ever seen. It was really boring and dull and stupid. Uh, yet somehow it made a billion dollars. Am I talking about Black Widow or what's happening right this second with Birds of Prey? I've heard almost no one say like bad things about Black Widow other than maybe, hey, this is like five years too late. I wish I could have got this five years earlier. Doesn't seem very misogynistic to me. And we'll get into Birds of Prey. Time and time again, it's hard to even have an honest critical conversation about these female-led movies because of men and some women on the internet trashing the movie in bad faith before we even get a chance to see it. And then again, look right here, you tell me what your feelings are. So let's take a moment, buckle in, and explore why men, and again some women, on the internet continue to be the worst. Not some men, why men continue to be the worst, and some women. Gotcha. Time and time again, we're confronted with the knowledge that in order for women to succeed on any given format, we have to fight an uphill battle to get there. Let's look at, for the sake of argument, Captain Marvel. Prior to release, it was dragged continually by men and some women who did not even see the movie yet. They just hated the idea of Marvel, which had previously been dominated by men having their first female lead. Maybe it's because it wasn't Natasha Romanoff, which is a whole other subject, but it's probably just the more idea of a woman getting literally anything. No, it's not another subject. The fact is that uh, Scarlett Johansson wasn't out there saying that we need 
more we need fewer old white men in the industry old white men are awful white men are awful this movie's not made for you stop talking about it that's what we heard from Brie Larson. We all know this. We don't have to dig too deep into that. That's why you're not hearing these things about Black Widow and what's coming out. Because people don't feel that way about Scarlett Johansson. Even though she herself holds holds some pretty hardline political uh, values that a lot of people who watch it maybe don't agree with. But she doesn't constantly bash you over the head with it or come out and tell everyone how much better she is than everyone else. Like Brie Larson was doing in the lead up to her movie releasing. It's exhausting, which is e which is the easiest way of putting it. We live in a world where any male nerd movie that stars a woman is going to get attacked before it's even on its feet. Birds of Prey is getting it in multiple ways, even saying that the female leads lack sex appeal because why? The men watched the trailer and didn't like that Harley said F off to the Joker. No, it's not because she said F off to the Joker. It doesn't have anything to do with it, in fact. Uh, it is simply the fact that when you look at these characters on screen, it's very clear, just like Charlie's Angels, that uh, they wanted to make sure that wasn't a big deal, that it wasn't about sex appeal. Well, I'll, I'll tell you that in Hollywood, uh, sex sells, whether it is men or whether it is women. That's why in so many of these Marvel movies, you see Chris Evans, you see Chris Hemsworth, you see people with their shirts off, Chris Pratt, because they know that that sells. Whether it's for men or women, sex appeal sells. That's why everyone uh, That's why everyone in these movies is attractive. That's part of it, right? So when you do specifically go and you pretty much lose so much of the sex appeal, people are like, oh, look at, she's wearing a, she's wearing a tank top. Okay, look at their, their, you can't sit here and tell me and look at these women and be like, they really had sex appeal in mind when they made this. Maybe one person you could argue has a sexy outfit. Um, of course, they don't look anything like uh, Black Canary, but, but that's fine. When you look at Margot Robbie, who's one of the sexiest women on earth, you see how she looked uh, during Suicide Squad with Harley Quinn and how she looks now, you can see they made a clear effort to uh, make her that way. And you see poor yeah, poor Matthew Kadish, who just made one innocent tweet, and you have all these third wave feminist weirdos attacking him in extremely disgusting ways. I'm not even going to read. Um, I'm not even going to read some of the replies, to be honest with you. Um, to, to like what he said because it's disgusting, frankly, and I'm not going to. But you can't sit here and say that this woman, that they turned this woman, Mary Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who just look at that picture, right? I don't have to say much more than that. And this is what they decided to put on her. You know, that's not very appealing. I'll just say um, to put this actress and put them into that. And I'm not saying that everything has to be about sex and about sexiness. That's not what I'm saying. But you can't just uh, you can't just make everyone tone down and intentionally like that and not expect people to say something. Especially Huntress, who is basically her character is sex appeal when you look at the comics. And then you turn her into that. She's in waders like she's about to go fishing. It's ridiculous. So no, it's not because they said F off Joker. It has nothing to do with it. When it comes down to it, I guess I just want to know, when will this end? How many successful movies need to come out with women as leads before we finally start to just have an acceptance of these movies? Do women need to start our own franchise and just run with it from there in hopes that men of the internet don't find us? Um, no, you could just stop telling men to F off. That would be a great point. And I'm not talking about Harley and Joker. I'm talking about really telling men to F off, that stop, stop crying about it. This isn't made for you. Not ever, again, not everything has to be made for me, but if it doesn't tell me to F off, that'd be a great start. And imagine comparing all this to 2016 Ghostbusters. That's one of the worst movies ever made. Um, and here's the part that is really telling, where you can say where all these women are coming from who are these radical third-wave feminists and why you can't trust anything they're saying about these movies. I'd like for one female-led movie to come out without having to listen to the angry men screaming about how bad it was before they'd even laid eyes on him. Uh, I don't think that happened with Wonder Woman. I don't think that's happening with Black Widow. I didn't hear it at all, in fact. 
And yes, I know that Wonder Woman 84 and the unnamed Captain Marvel sequel will do well because the first installments did, but that's because both Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel had to be rallied behind by women everywhere because of said backlash. I would have loved to critically look at both Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel without feeling like any criticism would open the door for men on the internet to tank it and ruin it uh, and ruin whatever hope I had for the sequels. I would listen to what she says. I would have loved to critically look at these movies without feeling that any criticism would open the door. Meaning that you didn't critically look at these movies, did you? You said it was great because it was women. That's what you did, right? Granted, there wasn't much about either of those movies I would change, but that's not particularly the point. I, like all the men who have come before me, want to look at a movie and go, eh, without fear that no other female-led movie will happen in this genre as a result. I want to have that weight lifted off of me so I can go to a movie and just enjoy it without having to feel like I have to scream about it for months to counteract jerks on the internet who hate anything that isn't filled with white men named Chris. Birds of Prey does have a white man named Chris though, so dot dot dot. Basically, how many successful female-led nerd-based movies have to happen before we can stop this frankly effing stupid trend of bashing a movie nonstop just because it isn't filled with male heroes? When will the madness end? And again, she is basically coming out and telling you that she is going to review something because it has women in it and give it a pass because she doesn't want to potentially give the, give the criticism any acknowledgement. That's what she's telling you right now. So... Whenever you see a review from someone, what's her name? Um, let's see, see, uh, Rachel Leishman. If you see a review from that and it involves a female-led movie, you know that it's basically trash. She's basically just told you that, so. And the reason that people are upset about Birds of Prey, people like me, who I'm a big DC fan, I want this movie to be good, but the more I look at it, the more I feel like it won't. And the more I feel like it will absolutely tank. It's right now tracking up the lowest opening of any DCEU movie ever. And there's a reason for that, and it's pretty clear. When you look at things that Ewan McGregor has said, not a woman, but the male role, you, you look at what he said, um, Ewan McGregor on the misogyny-driven Birds of Prey's Black Mask. And yes, they are making Black Mask flamboyantly gay for some reason. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what that has to do with Black Mask or his character or this movie, but that's what they're deciding to do. And then also it says here that uh, the anger inside Roman Sadanus has molded him into something terrible. Um, that feeling is fueling his venom all the time. Uh, and here we go. McGregor continued, it plays into the overall misogyny and the exploration of misogyny because he puts up with her because she's Joker's girlfriend, right? He's all powerful and frightening, but as soon as he realizes her man's out of the picture, he thinks he can take her down. And that makes him a true misogynist, I think. She's trying to find her freedom. She's trying to find her voice uh, and find her power as a woman who's no longer relying on or getting that power from her partner anymore. And we've heard this a lot from Ewan McGregor talking about how this film will attack misogyny. And I think it's a really bad take to have, uh, to basically go out there and say, that's what this movie is about. You're immediately going to push some people away because it feels like you're preaching to a lot of people. And especially when the preachings come from someone like Ewan McGregor, who has headlines like this about him. The brutal way Ewan McGregor's family discovered a fair as daughter calls him an a-hole. Um, and it's true that her daughter went on a social media tirade when it was discovered and all the rumors came out about him cheating with, uh, happens to be, Elizabeth Winstead. Maybe that is why. Maybe that is why they made her dress like this, so that Ewan McGregor would keep his hands to himself on stay or when they were filming maybe that's why maybe that has something to do with it so i don't think that ewan mcgregor is maybe the best person to, to preach about uh misogyny and the way that men should act with women just saying so again when it comes to the mary sue this article is complete trash it really reveals them to be um the people that are reviewing these movies these radical third wave feminists i'm not saying feminists but i'm saying the radical third wave feminist weirdos who go out there and have to viciously defend anything that involves a woman simply because it's a woman the whole world isn't full of misogynists it's just not the case uh, but there are a lot of people just like me who are looking at this movie want to like this movie and are saying, yeah, this definitely uh, looks like not only was it not made for me, but it specifically doesn't want me to even go. Um, and that's what it feels like. And that's what's going to happen. This movie is going to bomb. 
Um, right now it has a budget similar to Shazam. So if it makes Shazam money, which is about $380 million worldwide, then I suppose maybe Warner Brothers will be happy. It's not a lot of money, but uh, I feel like it, it might do less than that. We'll see. Maybe it'll do awesome. Maybe it'll make a billion dollars, just like all of these ridiculous people replying to uh, Matthew's comments said it would. I can't wait till it makes a billion dollars. It ain't gonna happen. Captain Marvel made a billion because it was smashing between two, bi two, two billion dollar movies and you were told it was the most important thing in the world to the plot. They lied because they knew it couldn't stand on its own. Uh, Wonder Woman is a, is a great, a really good movie. Um, so it didn't need any lies. It didn't need anything like that and no one was out attacking it. So the entire premise of this Mary Sue article is garbage, not surprising. But what do you guys think about Birds of Prey, about this ridiculous article? about uh, the way that she thinks all these female-led movies have been rallied against by misogynists, which just simply isn't true. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video out there, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.